Thank you for listening to this webcast that explains the third professional development opportunity provided under the Keystones to Opportunity Grant. During the next few minutes, the goals of the November session, titled Building Blocks of Literacy, will be explained. Please share this information with the teachers you plan on sending. The Building Blocks of Literacy professional development is for elementary and middle school grade levels only. As always, we strongly encourage three teachers be sent, but for this particular session, it would be beneficial that teachers new to literacy attend. Because this is an elementary and middle school opportunity, the recommendation for who to send when is as follows. K-5 to schools should send participants on Wednesday, November 28th. 6-8 to eight schools should send participants on Thursday, November 29th. In the case of K-8 to eight and 6-12 to 12 schools, K-8 to eight schools can choose to send one or two elementary teachers on Wednesday and one or two middle school teachers on Thursday. Or, these schools can send all three of its participants on the same day, it doesn't matter, just as long as the school is represented at at least one of the sessions. 6 to 12 schools should send their middle school representatives to the Thursday session so they will be with other middle school teachers. The purpose of Keystone's to Opportunity is to improve literacy learning outcomes for all students. KTO provides districts with a structure to build and implement a literacy plan that ensures consistency and leads to student success. Building Blocks for Literacy provides the foundational skills that are essential to initiating and developing reading capacity. Building Blocks for Literacy includes the following components which provide students with age-appropriate, explicit, evidence-based, and systematic instruction. Those components are oral language, phonological awareness, phonics and word study, accuracy and fluency, vocabulary, comprehension, and writing. Ensuring student success requires much more than an effective reading program. Most importantly, it requires building teacher capacity and literacy knowledge through rigorous, ongoing professional development, which is provided in the session through the KTO grant. Participants attending the Building Blocks of Literacy professional development will know and be able to identify, articulate, and reflect upon the key skills and components of literacy development, identify the critical components of an effective literacy environment, utilize and navigate the Standards Align System and the Pennsylvania Comprehensive Literacy Plan as tools to support literacy instruction, develop a connection between the components needed for effective literacy instruction and the environment needed to support the development of those skills. The evidence of this learning experience include being able to explain the key skills of early literacy development using Scarborough's rope and by reconstructing the four-part processing system. Creating a model of an effective learning environment as it pertains to your classroom or your role. Summarizing the new learnings and the relevance of those learnings on the participant's role. Creating a plan for continuation of learning and developing practice. Please share these learning objectives with the teachers so they will know what to expect out of the session. These goals and objectives can also be found in the brochure that was attached to the email you received with the link to this webcast. Just a reminder, this professional development session is for elementary and middle school grade levels only. Schools are strongly encouraged to send three teachers and, if possible, it will be beneficial for teachers new to literacy to attend. Teachers will be responsible for providing the turnaround training to the rest of your staff and similar to past turnaround trainings, all resources and any support needed will be provided by the KTO specialists. We look forward to this November session, Building Blocks of Literacy, and thank you in advance for your participation.